Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, The Road to 56, as the Republic of Honduras. I'm Aceid, and I'm going to be following the... the full United Fruit take uh, Company takeover path for Honduras that Road to 56 adds. I normally play as something of a vaguely heroic, as in democratic nation join the Allies, Ireland, Scandinavia, and I'm considering a playthrough as the Celtic Republic. Is also something this mod adds. But this time, I'm going to be a complete. I am going to be a villain protagonist. So the first thing we do is examine the political climate. Get this out of the way. And then our usual. Where do I put this? Industrial stuff. Now let's see, what can I, we have? A single well, infantry division, which has four infantry. This is not good. Thus, we are going to sort that out first. And I'm just going to have to... Now, I'm going to start by just building a civil civilian factory because I can get some of those via by by focus trees. Infantry and artillery and civilian trains. So to start out with we do have this Banana Republic debuff which lowers our stability, production efficiency and factory output. One reason I'm going to go down this, what I'm planning to do now is go down, down this path, get all of this, and then go in here to get rid of all the debuffs and lower our consumer good factories cap. Once I have that, I'm going to go back here and here and here. But then I will double back and get and try and fix up our economy. Now, one good thing about having this fella so far is that our theorists will cost a bit less and high command fees will cost a bit less. So I am going to um second loss avoid overthrowing him until until I have, have at least these three filled out plus a theorist, depending on how the so how, how everything goes, because this is going to take a while to click it. Of course, the first person I am going to go with, however, is a silent workhorse. If you, get, if you get an option to take one of these, go with them. They're too good to pass up. After that, ooh. If you want to save a slot for our elusive gentleman, then, hmm. Sure. If... So first things first, planet workhorse. Germany has reoccupied Rhineland. Time I started considering a full United Fruit Company takeover. Now, Somoza seizes power in the Republic of Nicaragua. Toby keeps himself. Oh. So, which chief do I go with? Army drill, army morale, army defense. I probably army defense because defense also provides breakthrough. Let's see. The open emperor. So I'm gonna go straight for. Um, the American business community and then internships because that'll give us some extra recruitable population and some XP. I now have enough to put this into a 10. And I have just enough army equipment to stockpile the cash.
I'm gonna go with the Chief of Air Force rather than the Chief of Navy first because planes might be a bit more useful to us. Say ships. Ships will come, but not for a while. So I'm turning these infantry brigades into a kind of training division because they only take 90 days to train, whereas this infantry division takes an extra, an extra month. Now there's not much here, it's just, it's, fi it's 15 width, so it'll fit very nicely into um all of these terrain types we have around here. And then we can only really get, so we can get three divisions in one t attacking into one tile. Jungle, again, we could get four planes, nobody optimized those. Hills are pretty much the same are pretty much the same as um right, they have 70, so we could get we could get four, but additional for additional attacks we could add another one or two. And cavalry recon only takes up maybe 10 support equipment. It'll buff the artillery and it'll buff infantry once the um once this sniper team is researched. I'm probably gonna go with superior firepower because it just works most of the time. Usually what I do is I go for integrated support to boost our support companies. But because we're using line artillery, I might just go with this to buff them even further. No, I never actually bother with signal companies, but maybe I should this time around, just to see how it works out. Uh, but that's a while away anyway. Okay, now that we've got some factories to work with, I'm going to get this because it's quick, it gets me some XP, and it adds limited conscription without spending any political power. Then probably get the Honduran army just to get the extra X. Well, then I'm going to invite Mr. Mr. Samuel Zimure, an official head of the United Fruit Company, to be the next president after we overthrow Carius. Oh, the humanity. Let's start converting this over to a into an infantry division. It does require some support equipment, but we're building those. Let's see how long that would take. Yeah, 60 days because of how we're just starting out and our production efficiency is awful. And lack of resources does not help. Fortunately, I can't really do much about that now because I have almost no building slots. Oh, I can also add a an military high command. Cavalry is going to be no real use to me. Stick with infantry. For now, I'm probably going to go with this air superiority expert. Not great, but. Should help at least once we get planes. I should actually find them, be searching them. I haven't really got the slots for that yet. Now, most games I tend to go with cast first, but because our Mayos are more aimed at fighters, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a so I'm going to have to go with fighters first. Fighters with ground support capability. Mr. Karius, your services are no longer required for your country. You're stepping down in about, in about a month for your, the sake of your health. So, Mr. Karius has stepped down and now Mr. Zimuri as our president and CEO of the company. First things first, we need to improve our production methods because they are very inefficient. 
United Fruit Company take over in Honduras. It's just business. Oh. So, do I go with trade interdiction or fleet and bean? Well, we're not likely to have much in the way of, way of battleships. Hmm. Might just go with this. Don't usually, but this time. Yeah, let's see. So, because we are not a fascist nation, now we get, get a, an option to take this. State serves the military. I feel like that wouldn't really be a record way to put it. does give us some extra political power gain and makes our conscription. We could also double back and get, once I the spare political power, get political loyalty, which means you can currently see that we have about 9.3%. Our, our ruling part which provides a buff to our stability. This would give us a flat extra 15% on top of that. This will. Now I do need to start getting some planes. He's designing them. Since I now have the power for this, I may get this physical power. Ash. These aren't going to be too immediately useful, though, from some of my previous testing, we can actually use some of our extra convoys to perform some diplomacy. As in, sell them off to people in the hopes of gaining some production. I'm going to get engineers for our infantry because they're useful to have by providing some extra defense and attack in various terrain types. The movement speed. So, this is the initial fighter I will build. It is going to be absolute crap, but it will be cheap. And we don't need better fighters for a while anyway. Now, from some of my previous games, I've I did try invading um Mexico after taking a lot of this stuff. But this part here is a right pain in the hole to punch through. And then they went and joined the Allies. Now, I'm not in any hurry to repeat that. So I've decided to replace Bold Attack with Political Loyalty because it gives us some extra ruling party popularity and less chance of creating strikes, mutinies, craft dodging. Something I ran into in some of my previous testing. So you can see this banana boat diplomacy thing here. We can send some of our banana boats abroad in exchange for industrial supplies. Fortunately, I don't have nearly enough for those now. And I do not have the manpower to actually fully flat fill up these divisions. Fortunately, establishing the United Fruit Security Division, which will hire American mercenaries to protect our interests, we gain a massive boost to recruitable population without spending any political power. And we get some army XP out of it as well. Square. Right, same thing I could. I'm going to get this, even if I'm not going to use anti-air for a bit. Purely so I can actually build up some some anti static anti-air. Probably won't need it, but I'd rather have it and not need it the other way around. Let's see, nothing else I can possibly do. Of course, I almost have enough for extensive conscription anyway, so may as well just get this and United Fruit Security Division. Like, there's no reason not. Now our ma total manpower is starting to tick up. It's going to take a while for it to actually do anything, so after I've imported some American weapons and prepared for corporate consolidation, it might just go back and buff up our industry a little bit more. Some more... Um, Dockyards would be handy for to build more banana boats. 
the research thought wouldn't be bad. I think that'll be it for it. Now that United Fruit has a capable defense force, it is time to think about consolidating our holdings in other countries. By applying pressure in the right places, we can establish control over Central America. However, the world will see us as an aggressor. The American government cannot continue justifying its protection of us. But no matter, they have other things to worry about. So, we are pre preparing for a corporate consolidation. However, our management team has noticed a lot of droopy shoulders around the office and has thought of an innovative way to improve company morale. Take our employees on an outing and have them participate in activities to get to know each other better and bond over their love for the United Fruit Company. Participation and fun are, of course, mandatory. Can't afford to do that right now, so build up our industry a little bit more, get some more banana boats going. Let's uh, go create as many of them as we can. Bananas won't, won't ship themselves, you know. It's kind of expensive to use support artillery and line artillery, but look at how much buffs our soft attack. Help with our organization, though, so maybe not. And supply usage is expensive, so on second thoughts, maybe not. Of course, thanks to that team building exercise, we can now afford to go to a war economy and expand our industrial base a little bit further. So, what do we must be mechanical computing? Afford a nope, we cannot afford a new spy agency yet. But no worry, that will come. Now yeah, we can finally build a spy agency. Central Intelligence Office? No, no, no. This is the Business Intelligence Unit. Now, do I go with some extra military factors? This time we just got. So, Nagua. This should be easy. It looks like they have only one division. That's all. Perfect timing. We got to just over 150 power just before, just after getting our before getting our spy agency. So now, Mr. Jose Maria Guzman is, is our new CSO. First things first, probably some civilian department to keep an eye on the market. On the market. How dare they? They refuse to submit to corporate rule. We will have to make this hostile takeover even more hostile. Eh, well, any is Now, there's not much I can really do while I'm waiting for that to happen, so I'm going to start building. Go with you. A reduction of land productions might be my getting. Yeah, we they have much more soft attack than we do. Interesting. Plus, we have them surrounded on multiple sides. It does help. We outnumber them repeatedly, so there's nothing they can do about it.
expected nothing less. Right, who will be next? Oh, and our 4th Infantry Division has earned themselves a medal for taking part in the occupation of Managua, the former seat of the Nicaraguan government. And we got some extra manpower and factories out of that, so that's it's all good. I can worry about that later. But where am I for factories? Oh good, I've got plenty. Oh, there's no even we don't even have any resistance to worry about. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We can actually convert some uh, acquired planes first. Suits me just fine. Right, build up more of the more of these steel mills because we are a lot of them. Or some. See, we don't need another aluminium plant. So the our infantry division. Can I give them medal for bravery, extra organization, for attack. Extra recon and armor, man. Wouldn't be bad. Recovery rate and equipment and capture wouldn't be bad either. Prevention speed and damage reduction against cast. Awesome. Let's see. Let's have a look at what their organization is actually like. The so organization is 51.1. It by maybe 10%. So increase it by 5. Ah, yes. And I could probably start buffing this even further. So I'll go with the classic 7-2. I know there's probably more optimal layouts available, but this will do very nicely. And because you were with the fourth, ah yes, this will be B2 infantry. Give them a slightly better Logo. We're very short of so excellent spy. Hmm, seducer and escape artist. And if I do, oh, they've even there's even been some spy activity. Now. Oh, a little bit of banana boat diplomacy will be helpful. Send fifty convoys overseas to gain extra production efficiency growth. And reduce our consumer goods requirement. Uh, yeah, we're production efficiency is growing by a lot more now. And the rest of the world is going to nuts. We'll always need bananas. Now that we've got an extra army effort completed, I think it's time we told El Salvador. They sub should submit to us. 
then goes straight into Solitaire Guatemalan Holdings. I think we'll be up to this. Much we outnumber them. All right. Fine artillery. This go into the signal company after that. Now, this will think, I think, Andy. So we've got these fighters that we actually can't use. Get to have a look at them, see what the design is. Can't really use these bombers either. I'm probably not going to bother with them either. So I think I'm just going to sell them off. You know, maybe I'll keep them. I'll sell them off. They're close to me. These signal companies. Oh dear. El Salvador. Used to submit to corporate rule. I think it's time we show them the error of their ways. But yeah, we're we're absolutely wiping them down out over here. Here, not so much. We're still doing a fairly decent chunk. Of course, it's the middle of the night, so it doesn't help. Now we're almost we're almost there. Three days we should would have shown them the error of their ways. We get some of these because the same Maya is used for upgrading my support company equipment as well, which I'm gonna need later. You know, I wish it would actually show how long it took for this the, for this war to take place. And our first infantry of you again, I think organization might be really helpful here. And they are going to be upgraded to the V2 infantry. Just now we have, um, and we're building ants here that we don't actually have a division for yes, but be sure. And the Guatemalan government has refused consolidation. Our negotiators have tried to use United Fruits Coal of the Republic of Honduras as leverage, but they refuse to give in. We have to take our holdings in that country back by force. Then, waiting for that to happen, it expands to Costa Rica, but... Hmm. We probably get some extra factories. No. Maybe. XP wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, we're, we're absolutely dominating them in the north. Now we have Guatemala City surrounded. While well, they try to break out. I swear there's something wrong with half. about that just go straight into Guatemala and get and finish this war quickly For some reason they're not doing close air support I don't know why
weird. But anyway, we have defeated them, as is the natural order of things. And I'm going to put this guy on pressure. Was there ever any doubt? Right. I think that might be a good place to stop for now. For now. The V2. Again, X. Right. I think I'm going to leave it there for this week, for this episode. Next time, I am probably going to go for after Costa Rica. Let's see if I can buy Billy's from the US and the from the UK and buy the Panama Canal. Which means I'm gonna to need to go on a little bit of a a charm offensive. Boys and PR will have their work cut out for them. I have every confidence in their ability be to persuade the United Kingdom and the United States righteousness. Be it for me, bye for now.